Hey there all craft beer lovers. Yeah, it's time for that beer review once again. We are going once again to Sweden, to the south part of the country, to the city of Helsingborg, Helsingborg's Bryggeri or Helsingborg's Brewery. We are taking a look tonight at their Tuco. It's a stout coming in at 5.3% ABV in a 330ml bottle. Says there that Tuco is the third beer in our series about the movie The Good, The Bad and the Ugly. The two former are Blondie and Angel Eyes. Tuco is an oatmeal stout made out of six different malt varieties, of which one is a smoked malt that gives you the sensation of sitting by the campfire in the evening. Tuco has three different hop varieties with an, with an American touch thrown into the whirlpool, Enjoy yourself with a bottle from the prairie. That sounds absolutely amazing there. Sounds very, very nice. Nice marketing trick there from Helsingborg's Brigade. There's the cap. Yeah, a little bit of that Wild West inspired theme. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Let's pop it then. See what we have concerning the beer. Oh, I, I mean, I'm too fast for this one, right? There we go. Yeah, touch of smoke on that bottle opening. And the beer is going out. There we go. All right, let's see what this one has to offer. There we go. All right, perfect. Nice pour. There you go, guys, in view. Basically one to one and a half fingers worth of a light brown colored head. Small bubbles on top. Yeah, not yet black, but very, very dark indeed. There you go. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they say they had added some smoked malt, because that's what you're getting, a lot of smoked malt. I think they said that one, they had made this out of six malt varieties, and only one was a smoked malt variety, but it tastes a Oh, I mean, not taste. It smells like a lot of um, roasted, toasty, smoky malts in there. A little bit of kind of dark fruits, like black currants or something lurking about. Yeah, a bit of coffee, perhaps. Yeah, definitely smoked malts and dark fruits foremost. Maybe a touch of coffee, but let's see what the taste offers. Cheers everybody. Mm. Yeah, not bad. Not bad actually. Uh, mm. So you got a lot, it's very malt driven. Very malt driven actually. A lot of dark malts in there. That's kind of the main thing that gets you uh, 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 flavor-wise there. A uh, lot of dark malts. Uh, let's go for another sip to dissect the bear a little bit further. Mm. So, for me, yeah... Touch a touch a licorice, lots and lots of dark uh, malts. Little bit of a uh, bitter sensation on the tip of the tongue there at the back end of the beer, but for me, don't really get much of the sm smokiness that I got on the aroma. Uh, for me, this is kind of a. Uh, it's not a bad beer. It's a pretty okay beer, I would say. But it's nothing that would make me jump up and down of excitement or dance around the room. It's not that type of beer. It's a more of a classical, malty, dark malt driven stout. Table stout, uh, dinner stout or what have you. 5.3%, so it's not a strong, it's not an imperial stout. It's not claiming to be. It's an okay Middle of the road stout. Mm. Let's go for a final sip then. Mm. A little bit thin bodied, to be honest. It's not watery, but it's a little bit thin bodied. 
And the most mo the most I get out of this uh, are the dark roasted malts. Dark roasted malts, perhaps, perhaps a touch of coffee, little little bit of uh, a hop bitterness at the back end, and that's basically it. For me, a good beer, a good table beer or dinner beer, but nothing more than that really. Uh, middle of the road one stout for me, but not bad. Three out of five. That was everything I had for today. Thumb me up if you liked the review. Thank you for watching.